Hello and welcome to our second session and in this session we are going to convert our A pose model into T pose. Now whenever you are using external characters when you take it from readyplayer.me or uh, union avatars or you may download it from sketchfab and or from any resource all the characters that we use human characters are available to you in two rest poses. One rest pose is called as the A pose and the another rest pose is called as the T pose. To animate this character, we are going to make use of a service of Adobe called as Mixamo. Now when you use external tools like Mixamo to create your animation, first you have to understand that Mixamo works only on T pose models. If you take an A pose model and try to apply a Mixamo animation, the animation is not going to work correctly because the original pose of the model is very important when Mixamo calculates the armature animation. So for this purpose, in today's session, we had worked on the Sudhi GLP model. Now if required, save this file and then go to file, choose new file, create a new file, press A to select everything, press X and delete it off. See that the cursor is at the center. Now go to file, import and now click on import FBX. Now come to your folder, Sudhi avatar. And in our previous class, now to show you an example, actually I had done the export twice. And see, the original model without decimate was 3.7 MB. And after we added the decimate, its size was reduced to 807 kilobytes. So I am going to select the Sudhi GLB model and I am going to import this FBX. Once I import this FBX, when I take it from readyplayer.me or union avatars, you will have one iconosphere added like this, which we are not interested in. So it will also show in the collection. I am going to select this iconosphere plus X and delete it. I will remove it off. This is our armature. I will press 1 and I will come into the front view. If required, I will come into the texture view. Okay, the textures are correctly applied. Now, I have to convert this T pose into A pose. And to do that, I am going to select the armature and I am going to come into pose mode. Coming into pose mode, now, I will come to pose here. See the pose window is open. Now, after this, now I will come to mesh view so that I can see the bones. And with this, I will select this arm bone over here. You can see this. I will press R and I will rotate it a little. Slightly I will rotate it and I will leave it and I will see the rotation angle. I will rotate this by around 15 degree. Okay. Now I will also select the other armature here and I am going to press R and this also I am going to apply instead of 15 degree, I will apply minus 1 5 degree. Okay. I have made this stride. Then I am going to select this armature and I am going to press R and I am going to rotate it and make it straight like this. And for this, I am now going to set a rotation of 30 degrees. Okay, so I have set its rotation to 30 degree and similarly, I will select this hand and I will press R and I will set this rotation to minus 30 degree. Okay. So we have this pose, but the only problem is now I have to convert this pose into rest pose. So if you come over here and choose rest position, see this is the rest position and this is my pose position. So for this, normally what we do is, see now if I come to pose, come to apply here, you have an option apply pose as rest pose. And if I click on this, you can now see 
this is applied only to the bone but not to the mesh structure. So, I will go to edit and undo it. Undo this. Now, before I continue, I will go to file and I will save it and I am going to give it the name as Sudhi underscore. I will call this as T post. So, we are converting it into T post. I will save this file and then I will come back to my object mode. And in object mode, I will select my mesh and I will come to my modifiers. And you can see here a modifier applied here called as armature. Okay. So now I am going to click here and I am going to duplicate this modifier. So I got one more modifier here. And now I will switch off the original modifier like. I have armature 1 and armature, I will drag this and put it to the top so that armature 1 is on the top. So after this, now what I will do is, I will select this armature 1, I will go over here and I select apply, okay. I will apply this effect, I have already applied it and after this, now, I will select back my armature. Now, I will come to my pose mode and in the pose mode, I will come to poses here. Okay. Now, you have the rest pose is coming down and this is the pose position. Now, I will go to pose and apply and I am going to apply pose as rest pose. And when I click on this, now you can see that the rest pose and the post pose are the same. The mesh is actually binded to my T pose. Okay, coming to pose mode, I will select this bone and move it. Okay, so I cannot change it because in pose mode, I am in rest pose. So it is showing an error. I will come to pose position and now I will move it, but you are seeing that it is not getting applied. The reason is I have to come back object mode again, then select the object and come to this modifier and we had switched off this armature. See enable in real time, enable in render. I will select the armature, come back to pose mode. And then I am going to select this bone and now if I move it, see now you can see it is getting applied, working. And similarly even here, I will select it and see how this is moving, okay. So this movement is also applied. So now our object is ready with T pose. So now finally, let us come back to object mode, save this file and then go to file, export FBX. I am going to now give it the name as Sudhi underscore T pose and then see that the path mode is set to auto and click on export FBX. In this session, we have converted our A pose model into T pose and we have exported it. And in our next session, we are going to animate it.